All right, people, people of the internet, if you own a Kia Seltos 2024 or a Kia in that region, the same type of thing going on here where you got a digital speedometer and an infotainment system right there. And one day you start your car up and the infotainment system is working, but this thing ain't working at all. What you're going to do is a very simple fix. You don't have to worry about going and spending a bunch of money or wasting your hard-earned money by losing time at work by bringing it to a um, dealer. So what you're going to do is this, right? This thing right here, this piece. Okay. All these little tacks in there. So this sits right here. Okie dokie. So what you're going to do, yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to get a pry tool and then you're just going to go into the middle and slowly pry it up on the sides and this will probably, this will do it. This is a little, a little harder to take out when you get to this corner right here. As you can see, it broke off of mine because it just didn't want to come up. So it's broke on this side, but doesn't matter it'll close back together so if you look inside here right it's just a vast of emptiness a big vast now there's two ways to do it you can do it the somewhat easier on you way or just the lazier way I did the lazier way for one reason because it's easier and second of all I can't find a filled screwdriver in my house figure that one out right so you can see from this side here if you don't want to take the 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 Phillips screwdriver screwdriver and take the screws out that will remove the thing from here then you just have to do it this way you just gotta it's very simple you see so you see that that white thing right there with a bunch of wires so that's what gives the signals to your uh, your little screen where your speedometer is from right so from when we go to the inside we're just gonna take that out and then put it back in and then your screen should work again so Although, my, you don't take the screws out, it saves a little time of taking stuff apart. It is kind of a pain in the neck to put your hand in here when you're not looking, just going by feel. And like just pulling it apart. Which is what I did. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. See, and this is the bottom part of it. So the bottom part has this little spring here and you're gonna click the spring and then try to like pull it out. For me, it was a bit of a pain in the neck to do, but I ended up doing it. It'd be easier for your fingers if you just take these screws out and then take this out and then, you know, do it that way. But like I said, I, I couldn't do it because I don't have a screwdriver to do it. So as you can see, the car is on and it is not connected so it won't work. Even if you open the door, you know, and you don't have the car on, you'll at least have the middle part where it shows, you know, your miles on the car. As you can see, none of it's showing because it's totally disconnected. So, let's put it back in and you'll see the, the joys of fixing things yourself. Alright, let's see if my crazy angle can, can get it here. I don't even know if you guys are seeing it right, but you just click it back into that slot there. If I can fill it, there you go. Real simple, super simple. And then voila, it turns back on. And then your car's working again. So there you go, folks. Had to put this up because, uh, so couldn't find any videos that do this so there you go oh yeah and I forgot to tell you Jesus loves you surrender your life to him before it's too late you feel me